One of the 22-year-old secretaries plugged her phone in the computer to charge. It auto-uploaded her entire picture collection to our company Dropbox. Today in B-Town Reddit Stories, Part 2 of What's Your Best NSFW Story That Happened While at Work? I worked on a ship and on ships equipment is wired together through many spaces. Spaces are just rooms on a ship. One piece of equipment may be controlled from more than one space. Those spaces are used to work in and usually, people will use the spaces for personal uses as well. Think card games TV reading things like that. One day I'm on watch and a higher rank do-gooder asshole on a different station says a breaker needs to be flipped for a training exercise. I know the space it's in and I know one of my buddies is probably ducking off in that space. I know that sycophant will run and tattle if he sees my buddy playing games or something. I speak up and say I'm on my way there anyway I'll trip it. I walk into the space and move toward the breaker just to see my buddy sitting in a chair and a girl's bare ass in his lap. Dude was balls deep in a shipmate. They both scramble not expecting anyone to come through. I just laugh and tell him that he owes me a big one because it was the sycophant that was supposed to come up and he would have been giddy as a schoolgirl to rat him out to everyone. I was working at a publishing place at a temp job. I was doing data entry, transferring a lot of records from paper to hard drives. There were three of us, two of us were guys. The girl and I were working in the same large office, the other guy was working across the hall in his own office. The work was pretty boring and easy, we would talk a lot as we worked. Eventually the talk turned to sex stuff and I disclosed that I am into BDSM, she was fascinated and I told her she could ask whatever she wanted to. She asked me to spank her and pinch her boobs as she bent over her desk. So I did. Iraq. Walked into a communications tent to find a guy and girl going at it on some equipment boxes. On ship, was attempting to find. Some office, don't remember. Heard a scream, turn the corner open the hatch door. I find a guy who was in the process of getting undressed a fully nude girl standing up holding a paddle while another girl was standing nude with her hands tied to a maintenance pipe don't know how Navy Dwemer tech works. We all make eye contact, I point to the tied girl gave an inquisitive thumbs up, she nodded, I closed the door. I was supposed to be blowing insulation in an attic with the boss's daughter. We dated in high school and are the same age. At about halfway I run out of insulation and start to come out of the attic. She decided that it would be a great time to get busy. Still my best moment in construction, I got paid by my ex's parents to bang her. Girl I dated for a while in college had an insatiable kink about having sex in public, more specifically at my place of work. I managed the store alone a lot of times. She would come in unannounced, usually when no customers were in the store, walk to the little back room we had and put herself on the desk, spread her legs and beg me to duck her. Which I always did. Other times she would come in and get on her knees right behind the register and give me a BJ. She was wild and fun. And we were just young and dumb. Never got caught. The receptionist was in my office telling me that she wasn't really sick yesterday. She called in sick but really went out yesterday got a new tattoo. I asked if it was something I could see, or was it on too private a place for me to look at. She said I could see it. She pulled up her top, pulled her bra up to show me the side of her boob and the new dolphin tattoo on the side of her boob. Um. That's sort of what I meant about too private. But thanks for showing it to me. If you want to support our new channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. We would also love to read some feedback in the comments. Thank you very much. I worked at a restaurant. There was a cool as hell, lesbian lady in her 40s who worked in the kitchen. We were outside, back concealed break area, smoking and chatting when out of nowhere she goes it's hot as shit, I gotta change. Proceeded to take off her t-shirt, then bra, and put on a tank top from her bag. I just stood there with my mouth open. She was like close your duck and mouth, they're just boobs. So I closed my mouth and was just like uh. So anyways. Worked with a girl who was very fit and petite, she used to always joke that the dishwashing sinks were so big she could bathe in them. Her last shift before she left for college she was closing the store, there were only three of us in the building. We finished closing, she punched out and proceeded to strip down naked and climbed into the sinks and started spraying herself with the dish sprayer and lathering soap all over herself in a suggestive manner. 
That was a great close. One coworker was trying to explain the placement of an ex coworker's tattoo. English is not her first language, so she was having trouble coming up with a way to say it's big and high up on her thigh. She decided to demonstrate on a nearby male coworker the area she was trying to describe and ended up getting more than she bargained for. She felt something, continued to pat to try and figure it out, then asked in her beautiful Spanish accent, "Is that your gun?" He's a marine and no one would be surprised if he had a permit to carry at all times. He just looked straight ahead, smiled, and said you could buy a guy dinner first. I worked at a urine lab for a while. One of the 22-year-old secretaries plugged her phone in the computer to charge. It auto-uploaded her entire picture collection to our company Dropbox. The entire company had access and got notifications in real time. Hundreds upon hundreds of nudes. Used to work for a service company that would respond to apartment renter issues. Walked into a studio apartment and an upscale complex for a reported issue with the dryer. As soon as I walked in, a majority of the walls were covered with Ponro from Ponro magazines. The renter tore out hundreds and hundreds of pages from dirty magazines and tacked them to the walls. Everything else was normal and clean. The furniture was clean, the floors were clean, no evidence of hoarding of any kind. Kitchen was spotless. No smells or odors. Apartment was fully organized, but just porn all over the walls. I used to work in a 1-hour photo lab. My boss hired a very attractive new employee that I was told I had to train. During her first week, she flirted with me constantly and eventually straight up told me she wanted to see me outside of work. During one of our shifts, I had to go to the dark room, basically a closet, to swap out the photo paper into a new cartridge. She asked if I could show her how to do it. As soon as we got in there, she dropped to the floor and gave me head to completion. Which, luckily for me, didn't take very long considering how hot she was and how exciting and dangerous the whole situation was. We dated the whole summer and had sex in that store more times than I could count. That was a good summer. Worked at a call center years ago in a management position. We found a girl that worked the night shift who was soliciting oral sex to guys in exchange for cigarettes slash bus fare. She was caught in the act under a guy's desk late at night by a supervisor. Yeah, HR had a field day and fired a few people. That would be my former employer doing his best friend's wife. It cost him his house and nearly his business. The fun part is him all crying at my desk, telling me the rumor wasn't true. He didn't know that I already caught the two of them. It wasn't a pretty nor an impressive sight BTW. At my company's Christmas party, a new girl lifted her shirt and put her boobs on the CEO's face. This was her first week of work, and that was her last day. Open bars are hilarious makers. I'm a pilot. Once a flight attendant from our airline gave a BJ to the pilot of another airline in a hotel, in a clear glass elevator. While it was going up, our company is no longer allowed at that hotel. Boyfriend and I started out as coworkers. He was a J-man electrician, and I was his apprentice. We were working in new build residential electrical and we had sex in for sure over 100 houses at different stages of construction, including two show homes. I think the higher the risk of getting caught the more turned on we were. Most memorable incident was A in a basement full of construction workers. We found an empty room and he laid down on a roll of carpet and I wrote him. There was no way to lock the door and I had to take off my coveralls to have sex. My heart was beating so hard the whole time. Thank you for listening to another B Town Reddit Stories episode. Hit the subscribe button and check out our channel for more stories. Let us know your opinion about this topic in the comments.